everyone, it's Alice and today I want to show you some books that I want to try and reread this year. I don't really do a whole lot of rereading usually, which I think is kind of a shame because if you found a really good book, why wouldn't you want to read it again, you know? And I think I just get very easily distracted by books that are new to me and I, there are just so many of them <laughs> that I want to read, so I get distracted. And I have in the past thought like, why reread a book that I've read when I could just read a new one instead? But I think that's kind of a stupid way to think because if you found a favorite book, reading it again should be pretty good. <laughs> I also feel like very often when you reread a book, you notice things and pick up on things you didn't necessarily do the first time. And I think that can be really interesting. And honestly, I am the perfect person to reread books because I forget everything. Like I can't remember anything. <laughs> and sometimes I will like recommend a book to someone and be like, this one is amazing. And they'll ask me what it's about. And I'm like, you know what? I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. I just remember how the book made me feel and that I thought it was good when I read it. Anyways, that is a long way of saying that I want to try and reread some of my favorite books this year. And the first one is, funnily enough, one of the few books I have actually reread fairly recently. I reread this last fall and at that point I, it had been like five or six years since I read it for the first time and it is The Secret History by Donna Tartt. I was a little scared to reread this to be honest because this has been like one of my favorite books since I read it but I couldn't really remember that much about it and I wondered if I had like built it up in my head as the years passed. But luckily, this was just as amazing as the first time that I read it. I had forgotten a lot of it though. I only remembered like some key points and that was it. If you don't know what this is about, this is a literary fiction novel about this group of college students at an elite college who end up doing something horrible to one of the people in their own group. I loved rereading this though. I think it's so good. And this is to me, kind of an autumnal book, so I'm probably going to wait until fall to reread this again. And you may be thinking, why are you choosing a book that you have actually reread recently? Like, what's the point of that? The thing is, I want to reread this and I want to do something that is very unlike me. I want to go through this and mark my favorite like passages and my favorite parts, even maybe write some notes in the margins. I don't know, but I just I just love this book so much and I never do that to books, but this is one of the books I really want to do that with. And it's just, I feel a little bit apprehensive about it. Like I want to do it, but I also don't because I'm the kind of person who I will never write anything in my books. I won't dog ear pages. I will barely break the spine. I will only do it if I absolutely have to. So I think that's going to be interesting, but I really, I really want to do it. I think it's going to be great. Also, I will mention, I do actually have two editions of this book. I have this one and then I have like an anniversary edition. So I don't feel as bad about like doing stuff to this book because I have this other one that I can just keep in like pristine condition. If you are the kind of person who like writes in your books and highlights and stuff, I would love to know how you do it. I, you probably haven't thought that much about your process maybe, but if you have any tips or tricks or anything you want to share, I would love to know because I have literally never done it before. <laughs> Secondly, I want to reread another one of my favorite books that I have only read once and it was years ago and it is Amri Kana by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. With this one, I remember some scenes and some key points, but I think I've forgotten a lot of it. I also remember loving the writing and the way that the characters were written and I remember just being like blown away when I finished this. This one starts off in Nigeria and it's about this young couple who are in love but they end up in different countries so the woman goes to the United States but then when the boyfriend tries to get in he can't and he ends up living as an undocumented person in London I think. That kind of makes it sound like a love story and it is in a lot of ways, but there is also a lot of other stuff going on in here. It talks a lot about race and what it's like to be black in America. And we focus very heavily on the female character, if I remember correctly. And I'm pretty sure this is the one where <laughs> she writes a blog 
and I remember those like blog entries were amazing. I'm probably not going to highlight this one because I love this edition and I don't really want to do anything to it, but I might get some like sticky notes and put them by my favorite quotes or my favorite parts. Although I do fear that this book will just end up being <laughs> all sticky notes, but I don't know. I think I might try. I do think this is gonna be great to reread. I've been meaning to reread this for years and I just need to do it. Then we have got a classic and it is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I think this is gonna be very interesting to reread because I think it's been over 10 years since I read it. And I remember I was still in school and I decided to read this in English instead of in Norwegian. I don't remember why, but I decided to do that and I had <laughs> such a hard time. I really hadn't read a lot of books in English at that point. My English was okay, but like I was very unused to it. And for a non-native English speaker, I found the language in here very difficult to read. And I remember just being like, I don't, I don't know what any of this means. <laughs> I'm assuming most of you know what this book is about, but if you don't, this is basically a romance novel about two very difficult people. <laughs> and the way that I got through this when I read it was that I would watch the movie while I was reading. So I would watch a little bit of the movie and then I would read up until that point. I would watch a little bit, read a little bit, and that's how I got through this book. And even though I sort of read it, but also feel like I didn't, I remember loving this when I finished it. Now though, I have read books in English for years and I've read a lot of classics as well. So I feel like I've done some practice and I have a better grasp of it. And I'm sure when I read it now, I'm actually going to be able to like appreciate the language and see how this differs from the movie. I do feel like my Pride and Prejudice is very like interconnected with the movie so I think this will be interesting to read. I have read other Jane Austens since this one and I really like them so I do wonder when I have read this again will this still be my favorite Jane Austen? Second to last we have got another classic and it is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. I read this five or six years ago I think and I remember I was in like a period where I like couldn't get enough classics and I wanted to get through as many of them as possible and I remember being kind of intimidated by this book because it's kind of chunky but it was surprisingly easy to read. So even though this is kind of a long book, it's not difficult to read at all. And I feel like it's been long enough for me to have forgotten quite a lot of this. The story in here starts off with us meeting Jane when she is at an orphanage. And I remember being pleasantly surprised that the first part of this book is just all about that and us getting to know her as a person and eventually she makes her way to Thornfield Hall and she meets Rochester but the book really is about her and just her as a character and she is one of my favorite characters that I have ever read about. I feel like this is the kind of book that's surprisingly easy to get engrossed in and I might even enjoy this more the second time now that I sort of know what I'm in for but I don't really know. Rereading this feels to me like revisiting an old friend, which I guess is kind of what rereading your favorite books is. Lastly, we've got a little bit of a different one because this isn't one of my favorite books. It is Carrie by Stephen King. I honestly just want to reread this because I wonder what I will think of this now. I read this ages ago and I remember parts of it and I remember not really having a lot of feelings about it when I finished it. And I think that if I read it now, I will have a lot of feelings about it. I'll either like love it or absolutely hate it. The story in here is about this high school girl who I think has this super religious mother and that she's bullied in school and she has some sort of like weird powers. So she ends up seeking revenge on her whole town, I think. I really don't remember a lot. I have like some vague memories of some scenes but I don't remember, like I don't remember how this ends or anything. This one is also quite short, so it should be quick to reread. Like if this was one of Stephen King's other books, like the book It, which is super long, I probably wouldn't bother. But since this is such a quick read, I'm gonna try it out and see what I think. I think it's gonna be very interesting because my tastes have changed quite a lot since I read this the first time.
Okay, everyone, that was everything I had for you today. And I would love to know how you feel about rereading. Do you do it a lot? Do you not do it at all? If you reread, what are the books you usually pick up? I would love to know. Links to my Patreon and other social media will be in the description if you're interested. And I will see you soon. Bye!